Hi, my name is Mary, and I'm with the Cosmosphere, and we are just a few weeks away from the total solar eclipse. Now, in case you don't have any uh, eclipse glasses, which always block out the sunlight to safely view the sun, we're going to make a very uh, easy uh, sun viewer that you can make with just some stuff around the house. Now, what you'll need is either a cereal box or some sort of uh, box of any sorts that you may have around the house, some scissors, tape, a pencil, some paper, and some aluminum foil, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're going to cut a strip of paper that's gonna fit inside on the bottom of the box. So I'm just gonna take my scissors and kinda cut a piece that I think is roughly about the width. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm gonna kinda cut a little bit off of it here, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some tape I want it to stay put. I'm going to kind of make a loop and just plop it down there on the bottom. Okay. And then I'm going to open the box. Make sure you take the cereal out. And we're going to place it inside and just tape it to the bottom of the box. Perfect. Now I'm going to close the box and I'm going to seal it shut just so it doesn't open on me. Just put a little piece of tape there. And we are going to actually cut two holes, one on this side and one on this side. We're gonna cut some squares um, to have some openings. So I'm just gonna use my scissors and cut a couple squares. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's just as long as there's an opening there. There we go. Perfect. And then once again, take my tape, kind of hold it down so it doesn't open up on me. Perfect. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to take a couple pieces of aluminum foil that are about the size of the opening. Perfect. And I'm going to tape them onto the top here. If you wanna get fancy, you can always put them on the inside, but again, it doesn't have to looks super fancy. So put some tape on here and on here. There we go. Also, I guess I didn't need two pieces. My bad. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pencil and I'm just going to kind of poke a little hole in the foil. There we go. Okay, and now you have a solar eclipse viewer. So what you'll do the day of the eclipse is you'll take your box outside and you'll want to make sure that your back is facing the sun. And you want to point your box to where the hole is, has sunlight coming in it. And the sunlight will enter through the opening. And because of that round opening, as the eclipse is going, the partial eclipse, you'll be able to see the curvature of the moon um, on your little paper that you had in there. So sunlight comes through. You can look through the little hole and you'll be able to see the eclipse on uh, inside of your cereal box. So in case you don't have a cereal box that you can make a, uh, a solar viewer out of, you can grab a couple other really easy things around the house. Uh, you can grab a colander. I'm sure everybody has a, a colander that they use to strain their spaghetti. So you can grab one of those. And again, as the sunlight passes through it, you'll be able to see uh, the shape that the sun makes with the eclipse. Uh, also, you can take a piece of paper. You can either punch a hole in it with a, uh, with a pencil, or if you happen to have a hole punch, you can punch holes in it. You can always punch out some fun designs. All you need is a hole. And then again, as the sunlight goes through this hole, you're gonna see that shape on uh, the surface wherever it is shining through. And then a very uh, easy way to view the eclipse. Again, you don't have the fancy sun uh, eclipse glasses. Have fun.